Hi there. In this video I'm going to show you how you can manage add-ons in Firefox so that you can customize this great internet browser and make it suit your internet needs. Now when you open Firefox, if you go to Tools and click on Add-ons, here you'll have a, a Get Add-ons section and here you'll have a list of the recommended add-ons for a certain time. If you click on any one of them, you will get a brief description of it, but you can go uh, to the Firefox add-ons page and get more information about it before you download it. To view a much bigger and detailed list of Firefox add-ons that you can add, it's best to go to the Firefox add-ons page, and you can do that by simply clicking the Browse All Add-ons link that should be in the top right corner of this window. Okay, so when the page opens up, on the far left side of this page you can see a list of uh, add-on categories going from alerts and updates down to plugins, tabs, themes, to other. Now if you know the name of the specific add-on that you're looking for, you can type in its name and do a search for it in a specific group of add-ons or you can search for it in uh, all add-ons. If you're not quite sure what specific add-on you want to install, you can always do a search in the categories list. Now I want to add a certain add-on from the alerts and updates category, so I'll click on it. Now here I'm going to toggle between the five recommended add-ons, and I'm looking for Flagfox. I can read a brief description of what this add-on does. It displays a country flag in the address bar or status bar depicting the location of the current website server and provides quick access to detailed location and web server information. So to add this certain add-on, I'm simply going to click on Add to Firefox. Now a software installation dialog box pops out uh, where I'm going to click Install Now. I'm going to wait for it to install, and the installation is really quick. Now once you've downloaded it, it should be in your extensions page. You might have to click on that add-on and click on enable, but once you've downloaded it, it's automatically enabled and all you have to do is restart Firefox by clicking this here. So let's do that. Wait for it to reopen. Now let's switch to our browser, and in the address bar, as you can see now, we have a flag of the United States of America, because the site that we're on currently is an American website. Now if you right-click on the flag, you can go to Options. To use alternative fla flag icons, check this box here. If you want to use the default icons, uncheck it. And if you click on this little eye here, you'll see a group of default icons and alternative icons. You can choose to position the flags in the address bar or the status bar, and here you can choose the site. Now also when you right click on the flag you can get info on the site and the country of the website from GeoTool, Wikipedia, Whois, and you can also copy the IP. And In the options you can also select a middle click function and you choose where you want to open that new uh, page. And by checking this box here, you can also assign a custom action. So that's this particular add-on. So basically, the download and installation of all add-ons is the same as I showed you in this video. You just have to figure out how to use a certain add-on once you've installed it. Of course, if you download and enable a lot of different add-ons, it can actually slow down uh, your Firefox web browser, so you can always disable them by going to Tools, clicking on Add-ons, going to Extensions, find and highlight the certain add-on that you want to disable, click on Disable, and click on Restart Firefox. And now that we've disabled it, as you can see the flag is not present anymore. If you by any chance happen to experience any 
bigger problems with the add-ons that you install, any sort of errors, then you can always uninstall them, again by clicking on Tools, going to Add-ons, Extensions, highlighting the certain add-on, and just click Uninstall, and follow the simple steps. So that's that for now. Uh, of course, I hope that this video was helpful. Please comment and rate this video. If you like my video, subscribe. And take care.